Hey everybody, this is Alan from OC Nerf, and today we're going to be taking a look at this. I know we've seen it in the previous video, which I will also link in this video's description, but this is the uh, final version of the Sharp Fire Upgrade Kit. The only thing that could possibly change on this is this spring, because I test out different springs. You'll have to pardon me as well, I've got a little bit of a head cold, but I did want to get this video out as I'm starting to post more about this. Um, I've picked up a couple of contracts for doing work for uh, the kit and the full blaster sharp fire upgrade as well. So I can do both. I can sell this as a kit and I can also sell this as a complete um, overhaul of the sharp fire. So today we're going to be taking a look at this kit just in a little bit more detail, just a little bit more focus. So this is part one of the kit, which is the brass breech itself with a dart guide. It is all polished on the outside and the inside, lightly sanded with a thousand grit sandpaper as well just to get rid of any kind of um, things that could potentially catch um, just in manufacturing. And then this is all cut and uh, beveled on the edges so it's nice and smooth for easy dart um, loading and also feeding into the next part which is the 916 barrel. So this is 1730 seconds brass, this is 916 and this is where the brass goes into. This is the front of the barrel. There's three points of tape. This is a different size tape for the front. This is a different size tape for the back. And this is a different size tape for the centering onto your blaster. Again, that video I did before has more information showing how all of that works. But right now, this <clears throat> will fit very nicely and smoothly into here. So that's what we have for that part. And then we have a plunger padding which will need to be cut on your end once you get this so it will be shipping with this but it's slightly a few millimeters too wide in the uh, um, size of this to the plunger head so you'll have to kind of cut yours to your own size. This is the quarter inch copper dead space remover. It sticks into the back of the existing breech once you blow out the AR. This is the part that goes into it. This is the part that sticks out the back. This is sized, at, at least to me, to my sharp fire, so it fits into that sharp fire. And all this tape here is just tape, so tolerances may be different in each blaster model as it comes out of the production line. This fits mine. Um, you may have to cut or add maybe a little bit of tape, but this should be pretty good if not ready to go as is uh, on all these pieces. And lastly, this is the spring that I'm using. This is a uh, cut gown. Um, Ace Hardware Spring that's roughly rated, based on my calculations, at about 15 kilograms. Um, it says it's a little bit more on the calculations, but I'm going to round down on spring loads, and I'm going to say it's 15 kilograms. Um, it is cut on one end. Uh, it might be cut on two ends, depending, because it is a rather long spring. So if you're getting this kit, it will come with um, a spring with it. But that's the kit. The other things that you need to consider are changes to be made to the sharp fire itself. Obviously all the locks need to be removed, um, as this brass breech will take care of all that work. The other thing that needs to happen is um, we need to take a look at the trigger. So I showed this in the other video so you can look at that for more detail, but I just wanted to look at this. The trigger does need to be cut, and this is cut. This has been um, rounded sanded all the way down to a thousand grit so it's nice and smooth doesn't even feel like a cut although it looks like it also right here is rounded and smooth and sanded so this just makes it for a nice even trigger pull all the way across and this bar once it's cut it gives you a little deeper trigger pull again all that information is going to be shared in that previous video i also uh, filled the tip of the plunger head so that when this goes on top of it you'll have a nice even surface to adhere to plus getting rid of any air holes. You will need to drill out the um, back of this which is the air restrictor so you're going to need to cut that out. This is all the dead space that's in there which this dead space remover will take care of. It is a very tight fit so you just kind of push that in there um, but that's what that's there for and it fits in flush. Other things that you can do that are not necessary is I drill out these, um, I guess you'd call them speed holes in the back of the plate. Uh, I picked this up as I mentioned in the previous video from uh, Chris Cartaya. Um, and you can read more or listen more about it in the other video. I also 
another recommended but not necessary filled in the spaces here inside the catch to make this catch a little bit sturdier as I'm putting in more spring load. So that's this is not part of the kit, but this is all the things that you'd need to do. This is the kit itself. Installation is pretty simple. This thing here, where the tape is all the way in the front, is the thing that goes in the front of the barrel. It will feed in all the way, as you can see, the sizing is different. And it'll feed in all the way so that you can start to see it there. So, pretty good fit for everything. Um, and that's uh, the kit in a nutshell. Uh, installation is pretty simple. You kind of just glue things down, fit it in there, obviously, you know, score it and sand it so that you get a nice good seal on it. This is pushing it all the way further than this, but I'm not going to do that for right now. But that's what you'll need to do. And do your any, any kind of typical modifications, you know, put tape under the O-rings, um, you know, put your grease all over the place. Do anything else you want to do with a sharp fryer. It's the kit that we're talking about here. Um, so more information on the kit will be in the description, although I've gone over a lot of that information. If you are interested, please shoot me an email at ocnerfherder at gmail.com and we can talk about getting this kit over to you. Just include your zip code as well in country, so in case that we need to uh, figure out creative ways for shipping. Um, or we can talk about doing a full blaster modification. If you're not comfortable installing this kit yourself, um, I can go ahead and do a full performance modification for a brand new sharp fire dress for you. So that's what this video is about. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Nerf on everyone.